Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Laura for those of you that do not know and today I am going to be talking about books, romance books specifically, obviously if you know me, like obviously, um, but I'm going to be talking about some romance books that I did not like. So it's gonna range. It's either gonna be like a book that I was just like, mm, this isn't for me, to like actually I wanted to throw the book out the window and never think about it ever again. Like there's very much a scale, but we're going to explore that whole scale together today. I do wanna give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer kind of before we get into the books, but before we even get started with that, I do need to say a humongous thank you to today's sponsor, which is Ana Luisa Jewelry. If you guys watch my videos, you may have heard me talk about Ana Luisa before. I am a VIP, which means that I have the absolute pleasure of sharing their company with you guys on a pretty regularly basis. So today I really want to show you guys these new pieces that I got. I got this insane ring that has kind of like an opening in the middle with these two little gems. I think it's absolutely so cute. And I got a bunch of new earrings. I got these ones that I have on my lobes. And then you guys know I always like to add little different earrings to my different cartilage piercings because I have quite a few of them. And I just think it's so fun to mix and match. They're these really cute small delicate pieces that just fit so perfectly on cartilage spots so if you have cartilage piercings people ask me like every single video where do you get your earrings and Louisa they have so many amazing fantastic quality pieces of jewelry like I am obsessed with the quality I'm still wearing jewelry from them that I got like one or two years ago because it literally doesn't tarnish it stays super nice you can wear them 24 7 I don't take my earrings out I wear them to bed I wear them in the shower I wear them when I work out and they just stay perfect 24 7 so I just highly recommend the quality of this jewelry is insane and it's at such a low price for luxury pieces. A lot of these jewelry pieces start at $39 and they just go up from there. Um, but Anna Luisa obviously gave you guys a coupon code which is Lara Lovely 10 So you guys can check out the link down below. Go look at their website. Anna Luisa has designs for literally everybody in your life. So whether you're shopping for yourself or a loved one, you're gonna be able to find something that they would absolutely love. And my favorite thing about Anna Luisa is the fact that they are super here for the environment. They understand that companies make a lot of environmental damage, so they always offset 100% of their carbon emissions. They package their jewelry in nice, sustainable packaging. So they just do a lot of great things that I really, really appreciate, and it's one of the reasons I love working with them so much. I love collaborating because I truly believe in their jewelry. I love it. I wear it 24-7, and I also think that their company has such a great message behind it. So definitely go check out Anna Louisa down below. I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute, which you guys are probably used to, but that was like, whew. Thank you, Anna Louisa, for sponsoring this video. Link to that down below. Check out my coupon code. Go buy yourself something special. You will not regret it. But back to my disclaimer about the video. So I just want to say quickly, because I know that it can be controversial to talk about books that you don't like. I used to make these videos a lot, and I stopped making them because I just didn't like putting out the negative energy. I didn't really want to keep doing that on my channel. I much more or prefer talking about positive things or giving book recs that I know you guys will love. But I also do think that giving you guys some books that maybe I didn't like as much does provide a little bit of insight. Um, and I feel like sometimes it's fascinating to hear about what people thought about different books. It doesn't always have to be positive. Uh, but I do want to reinforce that I would never tell you not to read these books or not to read these authors. In fact, half of the authors on this list are authors that I really, really love their other books or other series. And this was just a miss for me, which is totally fine. Everybody has different opinions on books. Also this video is really just for us readers to kind of talk about books that we love and books that we didn't love as much. Like I would never send any hate specifically to the authors of these books or tell them outrightly that I hated their books. You know what I mean? Like it's really just for us to talk about kind of as like a group of friends just like chatting about what we thought about different books. So yeah just keep that in mind when watching the video. I would never try to intentionally like tarnish an author's name or make them look bad but I do think that there is some worth behind talking about which books I didn't like and telling you guys kind of what they were so you can kind of get a better perspective of my book taste and if they kind of align with yours and whatever. So I don't want this video to be a negative thing where it sounds like I'm just shit talking authors because that's not my intention. It's really just sharing the books that I didn't love as much and you know what maybe they're your favorite maybe you love these books and if that's the case super cool. 
super super cool and I love that for you. Definitely share with me what your least favorite romance books are or a book maybe that you read recently that you didn't like was. Let me know in a comment down below. This is the place. This is a safe place guys, you can tell me. Um, but other than that, let's get started. This has been the longest intro of all time. Let's get started. First book on my list should not come as a surprise because this was a recent one for me and I've talked about it plenty of times, but that is Thoughtless by S.C. Stevens. This is a book that is a part of a larger series and I've had this series on my TBR since literally 2013 I've wanted to read it it was on my Goodreads TBR and I did a video a few months ago reading my subscribers favorite books and I read this one because so many of you guys recommended it so many and I could not stand it I could not stand it this book is literally over like 500 pages I believe and I read the whole thing in a day which now that's like what do you, you couldn't be read it in a day I don't know. I couldn't stop reading it. I couldn't put it down. It was super compelling. Like, I could not put this book down. But after I finished it, I was like, what on earth? Like, what did I just read? Like, I don't, I don't know. I couldn't even give it a star rating because I didn't know if I loved it or hated it. But I've come to the conclusion that I think I hated it. It's not that I necessarily disliked the act of reading the book. Like, it kept me highly, highly entertained. And I was just, like, flipping through it. But absolutely hated the character's actions, hated the main character, in fact, a lot, um, did not condone any of the actions in this book. I will say, this might be slight spoilers, so just take it with a grain of salt, but I will say this was a cheating book, and I don't 100% always mind a cheating book, like, I really don't, but it has to be executed in a specific way. The book follows this girl who has a boyfriend. Her and her boyfriend move into her boyfriend's friend's house, and her boyfriend ends up getting this job kind of far away and has to travel a lot, and she ends up getting with the guy that they live with, which is fine. Like, that could be a fine plot, but she was so wishy-washy, constantly going back to her boyfriend, constantly going back to this other guy. Her boyfriend had, like, zero bad qualities, so it really didn't make you want to root for the other guy. You were just kind of, like, sad for her boyfriend. Um, and, yeah, I don't know. I just really hated how, like, wishy-washy she was about it. It wasn't like she cheated one time and then she was like, okay, I'm breaking up with him. It was, like, the whole book. The whole book was just her cheating on her boyfriend. It was just pointless. I don't know. The characters were just so infuriating. I could not imagine continuing on with this series. I can't believe that there's like two more books or three more books. Like, that's shocking to me. The same two characters have this whole series. I could never. I could never partake in that. A lot of people like the series though, so I, maybe it's a me thing. I don't know. Speaking of something that's probably a me thing, because this next series is everybody's like all-time favorite series and I just can't get past the first book. That's the Addicted series. Addicted to You is the book that I read. Um, I just could not get into this book in the way that everybody else apparently gets into this book. I did not like the two main characters. I think that's probably the, f the first thing. I didn't like the two main characters. They both deal with a different, like, kind of addiction, I guess, is what the plot is, and they find solace in each other, they're friends, and they get together, whatever. I couldn't relate to them. I didn't even feel much sympathy for them, to be honest, which is sad. Like, you want to be able to sympathize with the characters you're reading about, especially if they're going through something. I couldn't sympathize with these two characters. I just, they were so irritating to me. Um, I just didn't like them. I didn't like the relationship. I didn't think it worked very well. I didn't like the writing. Like, I, there were so many things about this book that I was just like, I don't know. I don't, I could never keep reading this series. And I know so many people have told me, because I've talked about this before, obviously, so many people have said, you need to read the next book. Like, the first book isn't even comparable to, like, the rest. I just don't think I'm willing to keep reading. Like, there's so many other books I'd rather read than continue on with a series where I already hated the first book, if that makes sense. So, I don't know. I don't know. But I just, I could not get into the book. I finished it, obviously, but I was just, like, really disappointed and confused because I know everybody else loves it so I'm like maybe I'm missing something am I missing something I don't know but that's my next one next book is actually my most recent read and it's called slip of the tongue by Jessica Hawkins so Jessica Hawkins has this other series called the something in the way series which I binge read a few weeks ago absolutely fell in love with the series like it was phenomenal I think it's four books 
I flew through them in a matter of like two days. I could not stop reading the series. It was so good. I'll talk about it more in a future video. But so now I was like, I need to read the rest of this author's books. Like that's my thing. If I read a book by an author and I absolutely love the writing, I need to read everything they've ever wrote. So that was my like mission was to keep reading Jessica's books. So I found this one, Slip of the Tongue. It's the first one in another series that she has. That's like a companion novel series. And so I read it and uh, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. It was another book that had cheating, which again, not always a deal breaker for me. It can be, but it is not always a deal breaker for me in a book. In a book. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, okay, like going into it with a pretty open mind, but I don't understand, like I don't want to spoil, but I don't understand how the ending of this book happened and how that was the ending. I was so shocked by what happened. Like, with her and her relationship and what she ended up doing like it was so like really like what was the point of this book if this is the ending it's like the book doesn't need to exist if this is the ending so I was just like so frustrated over this book I could not possibly understand why this character was making the actions that she was like I just I couldn't deal with it I did not like this book and I'm very sad about it because I really wanted to explore the rest of Jessica's books. If you guys have any other recommendations of books by her, other than the Something in the Way series that you think I might like, let me know because this one was a really big disappointment. Next book is another one that I was so excited going into it. I really thought I would enjoy it and it just completely flopped. Like I could not, I couldn't continue on to the next book. The book is Complicated Hearts by Ashley Jade. So I was talking in a previous book about a reverse harem book that I read and I wanted more recommendations and this is one of the recommendations I got. And I went into it really excited to find another book. Like I really can enjoy reverse harem but it has to have real plot. It has to have like real characters that are in love with each other. That's my thing. Like I enjoy that. So I was like give me a recommendation for that. This book was so frustrating. I didn't like any of the three characters. Um, I didn't like how the relationship progressed. It was like enemies to love. It was like lovers to enemies to lovers, which I did not vibe with. I just, I don't know. I could not get into it. The progression of the relationship made no sense. I just, I really didn't like this book at all and I could not read the next one so I just totally didn't read it. Um, so I'm again asking you for reverse harem romance books that have really good plot. My favorite one is Torn Apart and Bound Together by Kay Webster and another author, I forget the other author's name. That one is so good to me. It's four people and they have a real plot and there's like real drama happening in this book. It's really really good. Um, but this one I just, it fell so flat for me. I did not like it at all. I gotta be real. Another book that just I really wanted to love but it just was not what I wanted was Sicko by Alma Jones. This is like a dark romance book and it's not that I dislike dark romance because if there's a good one I really really enjoy it but for some reason this book I just did not like the progression of it after the time jump. There was like the beginning part with this girl and it was really really good. I was loving the beginning of this book and then there was a really distinct time jump and everything after that just felt so fabricated. Even though in a lot of dark romances you kind of do have to like expand your level of disbelief to really get into them. This one it was just like I couldn't. Like I couldn't expand my disbelief at all because it was just so crazy to a point where I was just like I'm confused. This isn't really enjoyable. I don't know what's going on. Like it was a lot of confusion. I don't know if I just didn't get it. I know so many people love this book and I've asked you guys again for Amo Jones Rex other than this book because I'd love to get into the author more. But this was just not a hit for me, which made me sad because I loved the beginning of the book. Next book on my list was so disappointing. I actually talked about this book in my last video. It's called Our Way by T.L. Swan. I have read some T.L. Swan books that I really, really enjoyed. Mr. Masters, The Italian, both two of my favorite books. I went into this book hoping for the same thing, a similar experience, and I thought the plot was interesting. It's about a guy who is gay who falls for his friend who's a girl. So he ends up like not being gay, I guess. But I don't know, this book, it drove me mad. It was super long. I got to like 60% of the book and I had to stop reading it. So I don't know if it's fully fair to say I hated it, but I hated it, so I think it's fair. Um, but I hated the way that sexuality was like, disgust in this book. Like it just it rubbed me the wrong way. I didn't like that. Um, I did not like the characters, especially the male character in this book. Super arrogant, super misogynistic. I just hated, hated, hated him. So controlling of this girl. Like 
oh my god his behavior was like disgusting I could not keep reading the book I was like I need to put this down and never read it again um so that was really really disappointing because it's not even that I dislike um T.L. Swan's writing or anything like that because I have enjoyed it in the past but this book was just like an epic fail for me literally an epic fail um so yeah really really sad and I've also noticed that she kind of has that internalized misogyny um kind of thing with all of her male characters some of the times it's just easier to overlook but in this book it was absolutely unbearable and I could not finish it next is such a crazy one because this is actually one of my favorite series and authors this is the only book in the series that I just absolutely did not like and that is Vandal by Carrie Ann Cole this is the um Embers and Ashes Embers and Ashes is that the name of the series Embers and Ashes series I'm gonna look real stupid I'm not gonna fact check it if that's not the name of the series here it is but I think this is right um and it's the second or third book I forget but it's called Vandal and this was another like dark romance book about this guy who's had like a lot of tough issues in his life he meets this girl they get into this relationship and there's kind of like a lot of secrets going on and I loved the book to be honest up until the very end where something was revealed I'm not going to spoil but something was revealed that I was just like that ruined the entire book like finding this out made everything else in the book not make sense not fun for me not enjoyable for me anymore it just completely tarnished everything I had read and I was so disappointed like I was so enraged over this ending because I was just like why would she end the book like that when she could have just not ended the book like that and it would have been good so it was like really strange because I enjoyed the process of reading the book I didn't hate it by any means but the ending completely ruined it for me I feel like that happens to me a lot I'll read a book and I'll really really love it and then something like the big plot twist or reveal at the end will literally leave me in shambles and I'll never talk about the book again so that's really disappointing because the rest of the series I love I talk about all the time and I highly recommend them but this one in the series is just not for me I'm sure other people have no problem with the ending and if you've read it and you have you know what I'm talking about let me know but I just I don't know it made me so mad okay last book on my list is another one by one of my all-time favorite authors so this is like maybe shocking and I used to have a whole video about this and I deleted it because I felt bad and I didn't want to like have a whole like negative video here I am again talking about it but I had like a whole negative video surrounding this book and I felt bad so I deleted it or it's on private I think it's on private maybe I'll unprivate it or like unlist it and put it down below if you want to go watch it that could be fun uh, but this book is the Vincent boys by Abby Glines who's shocked me too. I love Abby Glines. You guys know this. She's she's an author I talk about constantly. I love her books. I love her series, Seabreeze and Rosemary Beach and the Field Party series. All favorites of mine. I absolutely love them. This is a duology. It's the Vincent Boys and the Vincent Brothers. And I absolutely hated this book and it does have cheating so I think that's what made me the most upset because it was another situation in which there's cheating where the initial boyfriend like did absolutely nothing wrong and is like innocent in it and it's like really sad so I think that was my biggest issue with it the main character was just like really frustrating and annoying to read from which just like I couldn't do so that was this book I'm sure that I had like a laundry list of reasons if I made a whole video about it but that was like the main thing that I remember when I read it a few years ago I just could not vibe with the main character and her decisions and it was just really frustrating to see what she was doing and it was so annoying but I will say however comparing that book to Abby Glein's newest release there's been so much progress in the way that she writes her female characters and even writes the male characters um when thinking about like internalized misogyny like I've just seen so much really good progress with her characters and it makes me really happy um but this is one of her like earliest books so I get it um but I know that it's a crowd favorite a lot of people love this duology but I just personally I will never read it again sadly every other Abby Glines book I will binge till the day I die this one I just couldn't I couldn't okay guys so I hope this video wasn't too negative I promise next video will be something super positive and fun um, but I know you guys also probably like hearing like the books that I didn't like as much so if I did say any of your favorite books in this video I'm so sorry please forgive me don't hate me I love you so much um, and tell me yours down below because maybe you'll have a book that you hate that I really love and then we can be even so tell me down below which books you guys don't like um, I'm very curious to know 
know. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll be back soon for another fun romance themed video. Again, thank you so much to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. And if you guys have not checked out the link down below yet to go get some jewelry, please go check it out. I really would love if you guys purchase something from them because I just really believe in their company and I love their jewelry. I literally wear it every single day. So highly, highly recommend. Go check that out. Use my coupon code LAURALOVELY10. Anyways, I will see you all very soon in my next video and I love you bunches. Bye.